Welcome to The Daily Coffee Pro. I'm your host, Lee Safar, and today on the podcast, friends, our final episode in our seven-part series on how we're advising clients at the moment in this very challenging time in the coffee industry. And today, in our final installment, we're going to be talking about innovation, technology, and AI, um, as well as automation, which is an important part of innovation. You ready? Let's do it. This podcast is brought to you by Mapper Forward's new Patreon community, the Global Coffee Think Tank. Check the show notes or head to patreon.com forward slash Mapper Forward to find out how you can become a member today. Okay, so innovation. What role is it going to play in you being able to survive these challenging times? What I'm telling clients at the moment is that I want them to take a look at the labor intensive parts of their business. And I want them to take a look at how they can use technology and AI and automation and all the different tools that are available to them to help them streamline their business and remove the aspects of their business that are more labor reliant than they need to be. Now, this is not us saying we're cutting jobs. This is us saying that we're adapting to a challenge, which is a labor shortage. We're also adapting to another challenge, which is inflation. So if we can find ways to cut costs, it means that we can absorb some of the inflation that's going on and perhaps not increase our price as much as uh, we'd have to if we weren't able to fulfill these kinds of or find these innovation opportunities that are available to us. Now, there's a series that's coming up. The next series that's happening is with a cybersecurity expert. And our cybersecurity expert is going to help us understand how we can protect ourselves using technology to make business more streamlined. And that's a Matt McCormack is amazing. And you definitely want to tune into that. But there are some other things that we can do to help us make sure that as we run our businesses, we do it well and we do it, we work smart rather than hard. For example, are you using sales tools that are out there to help you run your e-commerce business? Are you using Google Analytics or SEMrush or other tools that are available to you to help you be more strategic about the way that you do something that we spoke about in a previous episode, which is your customer acquisition plan and retargeting your current customers through uh, your different avenues of marketing, whether it be social media, your mailing list, all of that cool stuff that you have available to you. Are you able to use AI and other innovative tools to make that happen. That's just one example. Another example, are you using automated equipment that is available to you to buy, to make your workflow in the cafe more seamless? If you aren't doing that, it's time to start planning for that. Equipment at the moment is not something that you can just buy and it shows up in a day. It's something you have to plan for. It's getting way more expensive than it used to be. But placing orders, there is some equipment that takes two years to get delivered. Right now, to get a roasting machine is near on impossible. So it takes more planning. It takes a greater understanding of how the supply chain works so that you can understand the different delays, whether it's coming from freight, whether it's coming from manufacturing, whatever it is. But automation with regards to uh, the way that your coffees are being brewed in your cafe can help you absorb labor shortage issues. It also helps you, as I was saying, be more profitable or absorb the cost of different inflationary products that are involved in your business. Now, the other thing is, can you automate the way that you go about executing your labor? Now, what I mean by that is, uh, and I've definitely found this helpful in my own business, and I have advised clients on this, 
not all of the labor that you use has to be from within the country that you're working in. So for example, a lot of the videos that we do, um, a lot of the content that we create for social media, we can hire people, people on Fiverr to help us take care of that. And it's at a much more reduced cost than what it would be to hire somebody in country to do that. Uh, so I pay a fee, I get them to take care of the subtitles, whatever it is that needs doing. They free me up. It's a lot cheaper than hiring a full-time employee or even a casual employee. But this is the way that I'm using innovative technology to help me get work done while also managing costs of the business. So it's really important for you to start thinking about how innovation, AI uh, and technology are going to be ways that you can improve the way that you run your business, run it smarter rather than running it harder. And as we move through the next couple of years, this is going to be super important and it will be a defining factor over who survives and who doesn't. I really hope that you've enjoyed this series. I hope that you have got a lot out of it. Uh, we are pretty much all booked up for the rest of this year with regards to consulting uh, inquiries. We can do an hour here and an hour there. But other than that, um, my books are completely full until 2023. If you have any inquiries, though, reach out and we'll be able to have a chat. Other than that, Problem solving is going to be your guiding light through all of these. And these past seven episodes were all about giving you access to the same information that we give our consulting clients. So I hope it's been helpful. Stay tuned for the next series with Matt McCormack. Peace on peanut butter, friends. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks, friends. If you enjoyed this video, here's what you should check out next. Consider supporting Mapper Forward on Patreon and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell before you leave.